What's going on, peeps? Um, yeah, it's been a little bit since I've uh, posted a video. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you an update of how the rest of the season went. Um, I'm sure most of you are following my channel, um, that are subscribed, so kind of be getting an idea of what's been going on. Um, been, I've been focusing mostly on, uh, filming for my cousin's channel, Curry's Outdoor Adventures, um, and I'm going to continue to keep my focus geared towards that, um, just because we can do things, my cousin can edit the videos, he's, he's more professional, everything's more professional on that end compared to my channel. Mine's as raw as it gets. <laughs> um, but uh, that's something that we're going to continue to do in the future is, is to focus more on uh, filming for his channel. Um, but uh, So the biggest highlight of the 2022 fall hunting season this year was Lily's Grand Slam. That was something I was, that was my main focus this year. Um, ever since Lily started hunting, um, she always wanted to get a Grand Slam. She vowed if she ever got picked for a moose tag, she was going to complete that quest. That was something she always wanted to do. So um, that was my focus all season. I wanted to make sure she she succeeded. And we had all kinds of help from family and friends with that. Um, it just it couldn't have worked out any better for her. I'm so happy and proud of her. Um, yeah, she got a nice tom, nice bear. Shot her biggest, biggest deer ever, a nice 160-pound eight-point. And then she got a cow moose, so, um, just, it was awesome. It was awesome. So glad it went that way for her. She's excited. Um, freezes are full. Took a lot of pressure off me for, uh, the rest of hunting season, so I didn't need to feel, I didn't have to, I didn't have to, I didn't, never felt the need to, uh, fill any tags because the freezer was full. I mean, we had the pig, bear, um, you know, her moose, um, I did get a doe on the island, had her deer in the freezer. Um, I got another, I filled a doe tag and a uh, expanded buck tag. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it was great. Um, the food plot, our food plot, I considered it to be a success this year. We only got the one doe off it. Um, our good friend Erica got her first deer off our plot. We had a bunch of does coming at that point. It was the first week of rifle season. And... Um, yeah, so we, we knew it was a good opportunity for her to uh, make a nice shot and a nice doe for her. So that worked out great. Um, I my, my whole purpose behind the plot was to give the girls a place to go that was reliable and comfortable. So um, even though Melissa never tagged out, she could have shot a doe just about every time she sat that plot. Um, she chose not to, again, because the freezes are full. Um, so there's no need to, um, she was hoping to get a buck and we had bucks coming to the plot, but always at night, um, it was always at night, a few nights it was just past legal, but mostly it was later on, um, but she kept watching them does every night, hoping that one of them would screw up and they never did, um, but it, it, again, it gave her a nice place to go, she had action, she saw a bobcat there, she see a bunch of turkeys, so, um, so it was, it was, the plot was, was a success this year, and I learned a lot about food plots and the things I need to do uh, for the future and the things I don't need to do. Um, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was great. Um, another highlight of the season was going on my good friend Cody Raven's bull moose hunt. Um, and that just turned out to be an unbelievable experience for the three of us. Um, Cody's new to moose hunting. My cousin Ross is fairly new, and I've been on a few moose hunts, but I'm no expert. So, for us to be able to do it the way we did it, um, you know, we we it was all on foot. We hiked and hiked and hiked every day, scouting and hunting. Um, put our time in scouting, put cameras out, selected some bulls to hunt, um, and and busted our asses. And oh man, it was just it. Just putting that kind of work into it made the whole experience, you know, just something to, to it just a, it's just a, you can't, you can't experience anywhere else, anywhere else doing something like that. It's just, uh, unreal. It really, it was, it was unreal. Um, hooked me on moose hunting, um, especially calling in bulls. Uh, 
Yeah, and we got that on video. Um, I captured it on my phone, you know, the, the, the kill shot end of it. Um, some of the other, I, I, I got some footage from uh, a couple of days leading up to the kill shot. Um, and then Ross got good video too, and we do have that video in process. We're both working on that, getting that, getting, getting that ready to put out on his channel. Um, so that will be out soon. And then, as far as the rest of the deer season went, um, it was kind of, it was slow this year. It was a tough season. It was uh, there was no mass crop. Um, it was a field year, big time. Um, I acquired a couple of new hunting spots this year, so I spent a lot of my time. You know, uh, work in those areas. It was more of a learning process than it was hunting. Um, and and then I hunted some off of our food plot. I, I kind of left that area. I had a nice stand set up in there where I shot oh that eight point last year. Um, and I probably could have killed a nice buck out of that stand this year if I sat it a lot. But I, I stayed out of there for the most part. I wanted, I didn't want to screw it up for Melissa. So the stand I had was down below the plot. It takes advantage of that early, um, you know, a lot of them bucks that were coming in just after legal. You could have killed them in that stand. Um, wasn't a stand that Missy could get down into. Uh, so she kept sitting in the shack. Um, but I probably could have, I probably could have shot a buck down there if I had put my time in. But I stayed out of there. The, the, I sat at. Uh, I think I only said it twice, honestly, and both times I saw deer. Um. So yeah, so most of my season was spent uh, scouting, hunting, learning new areas, um, and I did see deer in those new areas. Um, I did have one day where I encountered a really big buck, one of the ones we have on camera, on a new farm. Um, and I, it was cool. I got to watch that that deer dog a doe around for about forty minutes. Um, but he was well out of my range. He's two two fifty in a large field. Um, but he, I watched him push that doe around, and then he ended up pushing to a corner corner of the field down in the woods, and it's just a small wood lot behind there. So I knew they went in there to bed, and so I, I planned on going back in that afternoon and setting up in that same corner. The wind was right for it, and I I really felt I really felt I had a good chance of them two coming back out that evening. So. I went in there early. I don't know. It must have been one. It might, it might have been more, more, more towards noontime. I went in there early, and I got to about 50 yards from where they went into that corner, and I was just about ready to sit down right there, and there they were. They were bedded right where I last saw them, right on that corner. They saw me, got up, took off, and that was that. So that was the only actual racked buck that I saw all season. Well, I say that all season. I meant on the mainland. Um... Not including expanded because I did shoot a nice eight point expanded, um, and I see some other rat bucks on the islands earlier in September. But as far as the mainland, as far as my mainland tag um, buck tag, I that was the only rack deer I saw. Um, I passed up four spikes, and then on the very the, the last day I passed up a four point. Um, and that was it. That was all I saw for bucks this year. So it was, it was a slow year. I saw a lot of does. Um, oh, I can't remember how many deer I ended up seeing total for the whole season, including expanded. It was quite, it was, uh, I counted it up at one point. I don't know. It was like low 30s or something like that. But all, mostly does. Um, so yeah, um, Missy, like, Missy, she never tagged out. She could have shot a doe at any point. She had both a buck tag and a doe tag, but she just chose not to this year because the freezes are full. Um, Lily, on the last day, had a chance to fill her doe tag, but just couldn't pull it off. Um, yeah, doe was too close, and as she was trying to move to get on it, um, yeah, it just doe saw her and took off. It was too close, too quiet. She was on the ground. But, um, and I really didn't get any videos the rest of the season. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, a recap, I guess, of how everything went. I'm trying to think if I left anything out. Um, no, that's a recap. That's how everything went this year. It was slow. Um, got a lot of deer on camera, a lot of nice deer on camera this year. A lot of big, big deer on camera this year. Um, some, definitely, definitely some prospects for next year, and I've, since rifle season opened, I mean, uh, closed, I've, uh, I've been out the last couple of weeks just scouting, scouting my butt off. 
Um, trying to figure out these new new pieces. Oh, another another area we another new area we hunted was uh, an area of, um, some public ground. Um, well, I'm gonna say about that, I guess. <laughs> There's a uh, some it's a big public area. Um, um, me and my cousin hunted it. Um, we only hunted it a couple times each. Um, we had one good day up there. I see a couple of big does. I had, had what I'm pretty sure was a buck go below me. I couldn't see it, but it was on. A, it was a deer on a mission. And then uh, that same morning, uh, Ross who was sitting up above me. Had a buck come grunting into him, but it wouldn't step out into the clearing. And uh, he's pretty sure it was small anyway, so he wasn't going to shoot it. But but that's another good. That's another area we're excited about for next year. We've done a lot of scouting up there since the season closed, and uh, and man, we got some beautiful bucks on camera. Day a lot of daylight footage too. So yeah, so uh, yeah, we got a lot of plans for next year. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of work, a lot more work on our uh, on our plot. Add add to it. Uh, add another section to it. Um, and these new areas that I've been putting the work and scouting, we're gonna have some nice stands in those areas too. So yeah, so that's it. Um, that's a wrap. 2022 was was a good season. Um, uh, one another good good. Uh, Part of the season was um, Lily's movie sun up there in the Allagash. Um, we had hoped that she'd get it on the first day so that we could bird hunt the rest of the season because the whole the family was up there. My mom, my cousin, me, Lily, Melissa, Erica. We wanted to be able to enjoy the week, um, although we would have hunted harder for a cow. Either way, if we had to, if it came down to the last day, that's what we would have been doing. But um, luckily, we got we got her cow midday on uh, Monday opening day, so. And it just made for an awesome week. The rest of the week, we had a we had a hell of a time up there bird hunting, um, sightseeing, just hanging out at camp. Um, we rented a camp in the Allagash, and uh, my wife found a huge moose shed, her biggest one, giant moose shed, great shape. So that was a that was a, definitely a highlight of the season for sure. That trip, that was a great trip. Everything went great. It was just couldn't ask for anything better. So I'm already dreaming about next year. Um, gonna do some more pike fishing this winter, so I'll definitely get some footage of that. Um, and I'll and we'll be running the the hounds on some more bobcats. We got, I think we got five cat baits set out right now, and we got three or four more we're gonna put out. Um, we ain't got the weather for it right now, but we've killed cats on bare ground before off bait, so with the dogs. So um, as long as we can get some cats coming to the baits, we'll uh, we'll have some success. So I'll do my best to get some footage there, and then um, yeah. Other than that, I'll be working on the plots, and um, yeah, that's it. Getting ready for next year. So all right, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I um, hope you guys had a great great 2022 fall hunting season. Um, Comment below. Let me know how your season went. I'd like to hear about it. Um, I love hearing about other people's successes. So, All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.